right, so we get another look at a guy who many believe might be the best grappler in this division. He has a lot of different tricks that are part of his trade, and he's got a favorable matchup here tonight. And the grip strength. The grip strength of these guys that are high-level grapplers are something to behold. The guy grabbed me the other day and said, just feel, Daniel, feel the grip. And I was like, holy smokes. You could tell yeah. he has spent a lifetime right. of grabbing guys, maneuvering you, moving you into position to try and get you to the floor. And that's what he's done so effectively since joining the UFC. And I didn't even grab you as hard as I could. Oh, it's unbelievable. I wasn't talking about you. <laughs> We're talking about this guy. Right. And he's got a big one in front of him today. Vegas believes he should win this fight. We'll see if he can hold serve as the favorite tonight. Some would argue that the former champion Piotr Jan is the greatest fighter in UFC history to have actually lost three fights in a row. This man has either been champion or number one contender for much of his UFC career. He's got that patented high shelf. He's one of the best boxers in the UFC, and if you are looking for a boxer to cross over to the sport of boxing in this era of super fights and realize success, you could do a whole lot worse than Piotr Jan. He doesn't really have much interest in that right now. He wants to get back to undisputed greatness, and he's got a good opportunity in this matchup tonight to do just that. inside the octagon and is ready to fight. And now our kill the take for this lightweight scrap. All right, now for the official introductions. We go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Muhammad the Punisher, Mokayev! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion, Pepe Namursayah! Herb Dean, our referee for this show. Right. All right, all eyes on Piotr Jan as this round begins. At times, people have suggested that he plays with his food a little bit. Really just likes to get his reads and then chooses to attack later in the fight. We'll see how he approaches the early portions of this round. Oh, beautiful hook by Jan. All right, so Piotr Jan at times a slow start. is finding the range here early tonight. And that's out of the norm for Piotr Jan, as you said. He's a guy that starts a bit slow because he always wants to process information. He's a professor out there. But by landing that shot right there, it tells you that he's taking a bit of a different approach now. Oh! Oh, both. Both landed. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Two minutes have expired here in our opening round. Oh, reverses the position now. Outstanding work on the ground by Piotr Jan. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cutter on the island. Yeah, looks like that strike opened up. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Oh, 
something. That was nice. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Standing over his opponent here and making these strikes count. Beautiful sequence there by Muhammad Mokayev. Side control now. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Block. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Oh, he reversed position there on the ground, and he's now in the dominant position. Now he's going full mount. Mokayev's in half goal. Ground and pound the hammer, Mark Coleman would be proud. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Well, DC, this is what the fans paid to come and see. Multiple knockdowns on one side in that round, and it's amazing to think that... You ready to fight? You ready? Go All right, here we go with round two. Oh, big right hand, yes. All right, there it is again, DC. That Piotr Jan jab has been in his opponent's face all night. Well, when Piotr Jan gets an idea of what you're going to do in the octagon, then you will see the activity pick up. And it all starts and ends with that beautiful jab. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Muhammad Bokayev. <laughs> Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. And busy as he looks to improve position here. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Let's go, we got a scramble here. Massive shot from the top. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Oh, right, it's a bomb. This is a terrible position. To the feet. Crowd may be drunk, but they're absolutely loving it. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand up fight. So all that grappling wasn't what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now and they're popping for it. They're excited. Well, missed on that one. Oh, and he lands another takedown here, just doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot. Clean entries. The Olympians got to like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up once he gets to his legs. He's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Nice, you got this round. You got a minute left. Let's go. One minute to go in round two. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Mokai. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission of Big Brother. Two rounds in the books. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. You ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. Oh, that's a big right hand. 
just touching him with the jab. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. trying to pass here, Uba gets denied. Gets denied, great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Mokayev's able to make a nice transition there back into side control. Beautiful transition. Right now it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy was the athletic show in that defense. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Now some uppercuts. He better move, John. He cannot take these uppercuts from this position. Oh, nice kick. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. Jan gets back up. Gets to the single collar time. Look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. And that one certainly found the target. He's got to start moving his head. He cannot take this many shots in the head. Single leg takedown attempt here, and did that get you? Look at him, he's setting up a choke now. Look at that, he's setting it up. Oh, that Darce choke is tight. Oh, come on, I'd be tapping, that's got to be it. Oh, he cleared it and he got out. He cleared the leg, got to his back, and now he's out of that dark show. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. A series of punches from the top here by Mokai. All right, trying to pass here. As Robert Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping the full guard. Beautiful ground and pound, and now he's got his opponent cut. Well, he's no stranger to being in this position. Strong work from the top here by Pyotr Jan. 15 seconds remain in the round. Oh, big shots from the top. And that will do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there. All right, DC, we'll get a few clips of the damage done in that previous round. That eye can... You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Oh, nicely done to block the strike and counter with the jab. Well, new round, same narrative. He continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous frame. Well, now that cut the eye area, Daniel, becoming a major storyline. He's got to be careful. He's got to be very careful to address it right now before it gets to the point that there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, that's a flush elbow from the bottom. Well played. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Muhammad Mokayev. Multitude of elbows now. Trying to recover full guard there. Ooh, elbow from the bottom lands to the head. Might be a submission attempt here. Chad. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Yep, they can How in the world did he escape that submission? Standing pressure from top position here by Mokayev. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the This feet. is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grappling, and that's exactly what they got in that exchange. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot to him. He didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Mokayev's able to transition back to side control now. Gotta watch his neck. 
Oh my goodness, that dark choke is very tight. He's up. What's the mission defense on the split? And it looks as though he'll let his opponent stand up here. Yes, he will. So that cut continues to get more severe with every passing moment of the fight. Every moment. You know, when you get cut in a fight, you expect for it to worsen because you're not going to not get hit anymore. Right now, he's got to do something to try to limit the damage. Otherwise, it's going to get real bad. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Now he gets a more dominant position with the other hand. He is going to start to drive these over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Oh, he better start moving. He can't take too many of those uppercuts. And he connects with the punch there. Oh, nice. And now the uppercuts are coming. He better start moving. He cannot stand here Five. and eat these Five. uppercuts. 20 minutes down, five to go. Excellent work. All right, so as the cut man gets to work, we'll re rack some replays from the previous round. Well, he's got some work to do. The cut man's going to have to. You ready to fight? Ready. Do it. it is the fifth and final round. Fight, Jan gets caught by that straight hand. Out of range. Oh, maybe the best strike he's thrown tonight. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut land. Oh, that was a really nice takedown. Outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Mokai. On to the mount. Jan gets up. He is back on the feet here. All right, so he's landed a few similar uppercuts already, DC. Got to think he goes back to it. I on the strike attempt there. His stamina has really failed him here tonight. He's got to figure out a way to preserve some energy like as this fight moves forward. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Muhammad Mokayev. Another ground and pound strike lands. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job. All submission attempt here. He's fighting. He wants his badly. That guillotine is tight. Mokayev's in half guard. Great submission defense. That is how you reverse position on the ground. Beautifully done by a man. Oh, interesting there as he just decides to let him back up. All right, very late in the fight now. And straight punch lands. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on them. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that's in the field, is the one that... Make no mistake about it, he is getting two paychecks tonight as he gets the big TKO victory. Wow. That's unbelievable. It, it was crazy to watch his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It, it was amazing, John. It was amazing. Ready for the official decision, Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at three minutes, six seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Pepper Nomoshani Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You go to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.